Hey guys, so it's been a week or two since I was out doing that chimney job and I finally got the parts in. I've got the metal roof piece that I'm going to be using and uh, I'm going to go back out there hopefully get it done. But I'm most likely going to have to go back tomorrow and just make sure everything's sealed off and all good to go. But man, it has been, been a rough week, honestly. I had this guy, he owns a big old mansion and he just got it remodeled and wanted tiny little things done with it, you know, caulking and paint touch up and hanging up some coat racks so punch list style stuff nothing that would take me any more than half a day and so I gave him an hourly rate you know the guy's got money I'm sure but he was taken back at my hourly rate um, and so then I continued to try to sell myself a bit I'm not a salesman I mean I am it's part of the job but I'm not somebody that likes to talk about how wonderful I think I am and why to choose me um, but I did to a certain point in a professional way and so I left we talked just after I left about scheduling and updating his list and then a week later when it comes to me going to his house and doing the work you know I follow up with him because he had not sent me an updated list and I said hey you didn't get a list from you an updated one just wanted to see if you emailed it to me or if it's at your house and he responded with oh I left you a voicemail after I spoke and I'm having trouble with your hourly rate and so we're hiring somebody else so there went that you know whole day for the most part and then today I mean it's three o'clock and I've done one hour of work um, it's just been a rough week things just they haven't been falling into place which is frustrating and I don't let it get me down I just keep rolling with the punches which you just have to do you can't let these little things you know get under your skin you just keep trucking along but it is still frustrating and you know you try to plan and do things the best you can still some things just don't work out and then just to add to the mix I don't do chimney repairs or metal roof repairs all the time so not knowing exactly what I'm doing even though it's a job that I can do just adds that level of difficulty that can really get you stumped or you end up making more trips for materials because you didn't know you needed something just kind of it's part of it and you know I always try to eliminate those things the best that I can but they still happen just seems like this week has been kind of full of that so I hope it turns around and you know got some good jobs coming up I've been doing some some small small jobs I don't film everything I need to start just filming as much as I can and I guess do voiceovers I'd love to hear what you guys think if you like watching the videos with the voiceovers or if you feel more in the project when I'm talking about it as I'm doing it. I'm just curious. So yeah, that's kind of the update for now. I'm driving out there to try to do some work on that roof today. We'll be back there tomorrow to finish it up. Yeah, thanks for listening to my big rant and I will see you guys up on the roof.
that bad. Okay, my friend, that is it. So we just got the chimney job all done. Turned out really well. Not a chimney expert by any means, but it was pretty straightforward. I apologize for not posting as much lately. Trying to resort back to doing smaller jobs. I did that bathroom remodel, which took a little over three weeks, and then trying to edit the video, my computer just doesn't handle it so I wasn't able to put that out it's gonna be I don't know how long I've got that on the back burner I gotta get a whole new setup whole new computer before I can edit that and put it up so for the way that my business is structured and for the sake of recording and various reasons those being the main reasons I would say I'm trying to take on smaller jobs and Hopefully that'll allow me to put more content out for you guys. I'd love to know what you like about the videos, what you'd like to see more of. I really like the comments so far and uh, the channel's growing. We've got over 100 subscribers now, which is really cool. Didn't have any expectations. I really still don't have expectations on all that kind of stuff. So I just want to put out content that you guys like and uh, 
that might be helpful and if there's anything that I can put out or do to help you guys you know that's what being a handyman is all about is helping so again I just like to hear you from you guys in the comments and until then like the video subscribe all that good stuff and I will see you in the next one all right later